America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Special Agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent M, reporting for duty. Agent M, last night, a girl described only as a beautiful blonde crossed this country's border and entered Switzerland. She carried a dispatch case full of valuable information. Intelligence officers who had been following her reached the border within a few minutes after she had passed. They discovered only that her destination was the city of Basel, just over the border. Her name is Ona Lajos. The document she carried must be recovered. An arrest on the soil of another country will probably be impossible. Keep me informed. day, a man whom the border guards would have recognized as Ona Lajo's chauffeur knocked on the door of her hotel suite. Who is it? Come in. Is anything wrong? I am not sure. I overheard some information in the cafe that I thought might interest you. Special Agent M is here in Basel. Special Agent M? I have never heard of him. Why should his he being here interest me? He works with K-7. Oh, I see. And what is more, he arrived but a few minutes ago. He came here from the city we left last night. Oh, that is interesting. He is here at this hotel? Yes, mademoiselle. I inquired at the desk. He's in room 401. Do you know what that means? He has come for us. Perhaps. We shall soon find out. Hand me the telephone, please. What are you going to do? Hello? Would you please ring room 401? Yes, thank you. What are you doing? I am calling the special agent. I'm going to invite him to come here and talk with me. Come in, special agent M. I hoped you would accept my invitation. I don't understand, mademoiselle. I don't believe we've ever met. No, that is true. Yet you agreed to come to my suite to talk with me. That at least proves you are interested, is it not so? You invited me. Sit down. Now should we talk of the weather and the political situation first, and then gradually come to the topic in which we are both interested? Or should I come out bluntly and ask, why have you followed me here? Miss Lajos, I admire you for your directness. Thank you. I have been admired before. And why should I not be direct? You cannot arrest me on Swiss soil. That's true. You did follow me here. Yes. I want the documents you carried across the border last night. You may have them. On my conditions. What are those conditions? That you pay me 500,000 francs before 5 o'clock this afternoon. Why, mademoiselle. That is my price. Accept it or not, Agent M. I suggest that you telegraph those who employ you. Unless the money is paid to me before 5 o'clock, it will be too late. They'll never pay. Perhaps they will. It has been pleasant meeting you, Agent M. I hope we shall remain friends. Goodbye. While Agent M talked with the amazing spy, his assistant, Yvonne, waited for him in the deserted cafe downstairs. A man approached and tried to engage her in conversation. As he did, Yvonne saw M return. He signaled her to talk to the man. Oh, mademoiselle, uh, you're alone? So also am I. Why should we not be friendly? I suppose there is no reason. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> you have a beautiful smile, mademoiselle. <laughs> you have been here long? Oh, I only arrived today. What a coincidence. I have been here only since yesterday myself. Ah, I think we are going to get on. You have seen the view from the mountaintop? Oh, it must be beautiful. You must let me show you. Or perhaps you are with someone. 
Your husband, perhaps. I'm not married. Oh, it is my lucky day. Tomorrow I will drive you to the top of the highest peak. You will let me? I will meet you here. Well, why not this afternoon? Oh, if it only were possible. I am here with my sister this, this afternoon. I have promised to take her north. Say you would go tomorrow. Promise. I have just seen my sister go through the lobby. She will be looking for me. Then tomorrow. I'll be here. Oh, thank you, mademoiselle. And now I must leave you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, Yvonne, you seem to have made a conquest. Em, why did you signal me to talk with him? I was just going to send him away. Yvonne, that man is the one who was with Ona Lajos. He drove her car across the border last night. What did he say? Oh, the usual thing. He wants to show me the beauties of Switzerland from a mountaintop tomorrow afternoon. Oh, then they're going to be here tomorrow. Yes, but they're going somewhere tonight. He said that he was here with his sister, that tonight he had promised to drive her north. North? It all fits in, Ivan. What do you mean, Em? What did you find out upstairs? Ona Lajos is a very clever spy, Ivan. She introduced herself, said that she knew that I was following her, and offered me the documents back if I paid her 500,000 francs before 5 o'clock this afternoon. She wants to sell them back to you? Before 5 o'clock. Don't you see how it fits in with what he told you? He's driving her north tonight. She offers to sell to me before 5 o'clock. That means just one thing. Unless I buy the documents, they will be sold to the officials of an aggressor state to the north. The border is less than 20 miles from here, and they could easily be back before tomorrow. Then you'll have to buy them from her. You can't let the documents fall into the hands Yvonne, of... Yvonne, I have a better plan. Now, you wait here. I'm going to get a road map. A road map? Yes. Ona Lajos is very clever. But I think that perhaps a very simple trick will prove her undoing. A few minutes later, Agent M drove away from the hotel. A short time later, Yvonne, driving a rented car, followed him. Shortly after 5 o'clock, the spy, Ona Lajos, and her chauffeur also took the road that led to the northern border. As they drove, the spy talked. I don't understand. After he visited me, the special agent disappeared. He's not at the hotel. I was sure he would get in touch with me before 5 o'clock. The documents are worth more than 500,000 francs to the country that employs him. What does it matter? We know that others will buy them. Yes, but they will not pay us that much money. We will be fortunate if we get 100,000. What's that blocking the road ahead? Uh, something is wrong. Wait. Yes. See? The arrow points left. Oh, there has been a landslide. The sign reads, landslide. Take left turn to main road. Oh, it would delay us. Uh, it is a no road, but not bad. We will probably be back on the international highway in a few moments. I was sure he would meet my terms. Yeah, it is the luck of our business, Mamsel. This road is not bad. Well, I suppose I must forget it. After a time, it seemed that luck had played into my hands. See, there's a car in the ditch. Someone is waving. A girl? <laughs> you would never miss a girl waving, would you, my friend? It is the girl from the hotel. Wait, I've seen her before. Uh, what is wrong, mademoiselle? Oh, I'm so glad you came along. My car's skidded. Oh, this is your sister. So you know her, and I am your sister. Perhaps you will let her send back assistance from the next town. No, please. If it's not too much trouble, I'll drive with you. When we reach the town, you can drop me off. Well, it would be easier to send a garage man back. What time if we take her with us? Here, get in the back seat, mademoiselle. Thank you. She would have missed you if it had not been for the detour. Would have been too bad if you had missed her. Well, what did you say? I didn't hear. I said the road was bad. I wish we had missed it. Wait. Stop the car. What is that ahead? It's the French border, Miss Lajos. French border? You turned left at the barricade we put across the road. Now drive across the border. I have a gun. The French border? No. no. Drive across. Don't move either of you. Now, you are again in front. Stop the car. I'll take the dispatch case you're carrying. No, you don't. Turn the car uh, around, Cabello. Uh, I've got her hand. It won't work, Miss Lajos. Oh, no. Agent Amy has two guns. You are trapped. Yvonne, you step out of the car first. I have the dispatch case, Em. Look out, they're getting away. <laughs>
The documents carried out of the country by the spy, owner Lajos, have been recovered. Owner Lajos and the man who works with her were lured back onto French soil and arrested. Both will face military trial as spies. The case is closed. It is estimated that during the World War, the Central Powers had more than 25,000 agents in the field, while the Allied forces employed approximately 20,000 agents. Today, it is estimated by reliable sources that the number of agents employed by all powers now exceeds the combined figures. If these figures are correct, there are now close to 50,000 active spies and agents in Europe. Listen to for my next story. This is K7 speaking.